What's going on guys? I'm here with the Sharper Image LED strunt, Stunt Drone and I thought we'd do an outside flight test. You can see obviously I'm at the flight. You can tell where I use this uh, water panel to fly off of. Um, so I figured we'd do a night flight. It's a bit evening-ish. So we'll be able to see the lights as well a little bit. So let's go ahead and get this started. Um, let's turn this on, turn that on. All right, so it's all bounded up. Let's get this into the hat cam. There we go, and all right. So here's our con transmitter. Let's go ahead and. Uh, take off this is speed number one guys which isn't too bad the yaw isn't too bad neither Alright, so let's go to speed number two now. There's speed number two. Yaw is uh, definitely increased. Getting a bit jerky there. Not bad. Hmm. Seem like I'm losing um connection there. So let's go to speed number three. There's number three. Whoa, look at the yaw on that. It's just almost uncontrollable. There's something out here interfering with this. Yeah, it's it's just really difficult to control on number um, three. So I keep it on number two. But if it's really windy, you can use number three. Kind of works better when it's really windy. So let's go ahead and do some flips. This thing flips um, all four ways, so it's a all four way flipper. Let's bring it back over here. I don't want it too far out of frame. I want you guys to be able to see what you're purchasing. Sometimes people do those videos and I guess sometimes it's cool because you want to know how far it can fly and stuff. Sometimes you can't even see what, you're, what, uh, what the drone looks like while it's flying. You can only see a little dot at a distance. So I want you guys to be able to see what you're purchasing because most people purchase these when they watch them. At least the Walmart ones. So let's go ahead and do the other light mode. There's a one more, the light effect. There we go. So it just pulses sort of. Alright, let's put the light effect back to normal again.
it does lose a little bit of altitude as you're flying you know you know how altitude hold can be depending on the brand you know some some of them put really uh, better i think it's a barometer that keeps it steady up you know and then some of them use these cheap ones and you get like a, a you know you get some high and low flying effects out of that so you'll be flying and it'll just drop altitude and then go back up or sometimes just see like that <laughs> that was that was a little bit of me in there i kind of held down on the transmitter a little bit too too long uh, and it seems like it's uh, getting its commands a bit late slightly delayed I guess that uh, tower there is causing some interference because I don't really get too much of that inside although when I'm flying it on speed number three that's when it starts to get crazy on the high and low I mean the altitude hold just turns to crap but I notice if you're flying it in the heavy wind it's almost as if the wind keeps it up and steady I did fly it in some heavy winds and it, it did fly okay I didn't lose too much altitude hold but it's a really fun drone I like it looks cool looking it, it its transmitter and the drone itself really look nice together the drone isn't made out of super cheap plastic it's made out of some decent plastic the lights look pretty good so the drone is actually worth the money I mean to me it's more worth like 25 but you know in today's world our dollar isn't worth much so it's it's about 35 bucks for this drone inside Walmart and it's got some little uh, silicone rubber feet on the bottom so you get anti-skidding and lands very well because of that it's got a decent battery it's a dedicated battery but it's 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 all right Well, I guess this is pretty much the end of this one, guys. I just thought I'd do an outside video because I didn't get to do one. And it is, it is, oh, looks like our landing. Looks like it's time to land anyways, landing time. But I didn't get to do a video on it. And it, it is, it's a pretty cool drone. Not too bad. Ah, put this guy back over here. It kind of just falls out the sky though when it when it starts dying like this so you might want to keep that in mind but it's a pretty cool drone and it just looks really just looks really good too so that's the end of this one guys i'll be back with more videos soon i just thought i'd come out and do this since there's no wind surprisingly surprisingly there's no wind today so that's why i was able to do it so thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll be back with some more videos.